I will be speaking on capacity building and training for enablement of quality GPDP. As you know, formulation of a comprehensive and holistic gram panchayat development plan necessarily requires intense participation of people. Similarly, understanding the processes for formulation of comprehensive and holistic GPDP like visioning, situation analysis, prioritization, projectization, preparation of development status report, preparation of draft gram panchayat development plan, etc. needs capacity building and training. Capacity building and training is a prerequisite as well as one of the most important means to enable this process. So the focus of capacity building and training interventions must be for institutional strengthening of gram panchayat and strengthening of processes and systems for gram panchayat development plan. Capacity building and training can develop capacities of major stakeholders to formulate and implement Gram Panchayat Development Plan effectively and efficiently. So Gram Panchayat Development Plan can build the confidence of Panchayat leadership to prepare effective Gram Panchayat Development Plans. Similarly, Gram Panchayat Development Plan can raise awareness of communities about the importance of Gram Panchayat Development Plan. Again, Gram Panchayat Development Plan can enable the Gram Panchayat to muster leadership to enable partnership with line departments. It can also bring about attitudinal development in all concerns, including the elected representatives and functionaries of Gram Panchayat. Similarly, Gram Panchayat Development Plan can enable Gram Panchayat to come out as strong institutions of local government. It can also enhance professional knowledge and skills of the elected representatives, functionaries of Gram Panchayat for better planning, implementation and monitoring of Gram Panchayat Development Plan. Since Panchayat functionaries and other stakeholders to be capacitated are in large in number, the target audience can be reached out only in a cascading mode. For organizing the cascading trainings, Without dilution of quality, it requires quality resource persons. A multi-layered resource team has to be prepared for capacity building and training, which should consist of state level master trainers and district level master trainers or district resource group for Gram Panchayat Development Plan to carry out this task. Then the question arises, what should be the approach of capacity building for Gram Panchayat Development Plan? It should be a you know, combined effort of training and non-training interventions. Since Gram Panchayat Development Plan is not just to be conceptually understood, but to be physically prepared through several steps of action at the Gram Panchayat level for actual implementation, there need to be a shift in approach from popular conventional classroom-based training to action-oriented fieldwork-based training. Conventional classroom-based training generally helps the trainees in attending knowledge about the what and why aspects of GPDP, but not the how aspect of it, as it should be practiced with intense participation you know, of the members of communities in the field. Capabilities of the stakeholders can be developed through a combined effect of adequate training and non-training interventions for effective capacity building for Gram Panchayat Development Plan in addition to the required interventions for organizational institutional development. Training intervention may include institution-based face-to-face -face training, facilitation and hand-holding support at the level of Gram Panchayat or cluster of Gram Panchayat, sensitization camps for awareness generation at various levels, distance learning or e-learning, etc. Similarly, non-training interventions may include policy support on statutory issues and corrective measures, second application of IEC tools, third exposure visits, then participation in the process of Gram Panchayat Development Plan in Beacon Panchayats, then rights of mock planning exercises like this. For proper capacity building and training, there should be IEC material, which may include structured learning material, mostly in you know, FAQ form, charts, posters, wall writing, small documentaries, video clips, snippets, 
in the critical aspects of Gram Panchayat Development Plan along with success stories, case studies from the same state to learn about best practices. The Action Research Project on Gram Panchayat Development Plan in Jharkhand is being implemented by NIDPR in active collaboration with the State Panchayat Raj Department of Jharkhand. Here, specially designed capacity building and training and professional handholding support has been given to the project functionaries of this particular project on effective training and communication methodology, participatory planning methodology, various aspects of panchayats and rural development and development of their skills on how to provide need-based handholding support to the elected representatives and functionaries of gram panchayats for developing their institutional capacities and for preparation, implementation and monitoring of gram panchayat development plan through participatory approaches and methods. Capacity building and handholding support has been provided to the elected representatives and functionaries of the project Gram Panchayats on development of their institutional capacities, various aspects of panchayats and rural development, and preparation, implementation, and monitoring of Gram Panchayat Development Plan through participatory approaches and methods. The range of major contents of the specially designed capacity building and training interventions for the elected representatives and functionaries of the Gram Panchayats under the Action Research Projects was on development of institution capacities of Gram Panchayat like roles and responsibilities of Gram Panchayats as institutions of self-government, organization and management of Gram Sabha meetings, Ward Sabha meetings, general meetings of Gram Panchayat, standing committee meetings and special meetings. Similarly, efficient management of office and works, efficient management and maintenance of records, statutory audits, social audits, and effective audit compliance. Again, with regard to mobilization, motivation, participatory planning, implementation and monitoring, different areas like motivation and inspiration for human resource development, effective communication mobilization, and environment building for Gram Panchayat Development Plan through innovative IEC tools. Then sanitation including solid and liquid waste management, preparation of a draft comprehensive, inclusive and convergent Gram Panchayat Development Plan. In the first year of the three-year project tenure, the NIDPR has imparted training to the state program coordinator, state project coordinator, district project coordinator and Gram Panchayat coordinators for 18 days in two phases. Initially for 12 days, then for six days for development of their capabilities through training and non-training interventions. In the case of second and third years of the project tenure, there will be a refresher training for all the project staff for 10 days in two phases by NIDPR. Specially designed guided exposure visits named Mission Samriddhi Yatra to Beacon Gram Panchayat has been you know, arranged for elected representatives and functionaries of the project GPs outside the state so that they can feel motivated to replicate the good practices in their own areas. Mm -hmm.